Don't like the idea of the magnetic toolbar to use to store some of your fishing tools because you might have stuff that's not magnetic? How to add a small top layer to your milk crate to solve that problem this week on Kayak Hacks. First, I know we do have some sensitive viewers out there and I want to assure you that no milk crates were injured in the creation of this video. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, the first thing you need to do is go buy another milk crate because we're going to use it to create the top layer on top of our original milk crate. And here's the first thing you need to watch for. Milk crates don't come in a standard size. If you buy them from the same place at the same time, you're good to go. But in my case, I've got two here. I bought this one from Walmart about a week ago, and I've had this one probably for years. And when you look at them, the white one is significantly smaller than the black one. And from my perspective, that's a good thing, because you can see that the white milk crate fits totally inside the black one. So once we mount this on top of the black crate, it will be able to go up and down like this, allowing us to get access to the contents inside here, as well as flipping this up to get at what's in the bigger milk crate below. Now, both milk crates are the same size. This will still work. It's just going to be a lot slicker since this one is just a little bit smaller. Before we cut this off, you need to look at it and decide how much of a shelf do you really want inside. You want to be able to reach back in and grab stuff easily. So for my purposes, I'm going to cut it right here. I don't want it to be any more than this thick because it's really just meant to be a place where I can lay my fishing tools and get access to them easily. So let's get to cutting. When you're cutting this thing, as I have, you can see that I've cut around the sides. Cut all the sides first and save the supports for last. Otherwise, this will be all flopping around. I can make nice clean cuts here along each of the sides because I still have the supports in place. Now I'm going to go cut the supports off and then I will have given this milk crate a nice haircut and have a nice shelf for our concoction. Haircut's complete, and just to point it out once more, when you cut this, be sure you, you cut above the bar, not below, because you want to have a solid bar going around each side to be able to attach perhaps a net to if you want to do that a little bit later. So as I mentioned earlier, I ended up with two different sized milk crates, and I'm putting the smaller one on top because you can see how it fits nicely inside the other one. And now for the final step, I'm going to use some cable ties to connect the top shelf to the bottom and that way it'll be able to open like this and I can still get underneath it to get at the things I need in the bottom compartment. But before I do that, I need to cut some holes for the cable ties here because I don't want to go all the way down uh, to these holes because that would just be sloppy. So, holes there, holes there, holes here, holes here, and my cable ties will go on. Now one quick step before I do the drilling is I clamp the white milk crate, which is smaller, to the black one because I want to make sure that it's all lined up and the spacing is correct on each side. So I've got about a half inch on this side, about a half inch on this side, that's looking good. And now, with these stabilized, I can drill and have the holes line up so the flip works properly. One point when you're putting on the cable ties is don't make these overly tight because you do want the top shelf to be able to rotate freely. Once you're done adjusting the cable ties, and two are plenty, you can put three if you want, Go ahead and cut off the tag ends, and now you've got a nice shelf that will open and close and keep your larger stuff from falling out if you happen to flip. And you can put all of your tools 
right up here in the top where they're easy to access. Comments? Got a better way to do this? Throw them down below and please subscribe. Thank you.